It was definitely important. Uh, counting today's game, we have like five games left. Uh, we, I think it's, you know, we want to take it game by day, game by game. But our ultimate goal is to, uh, you know, win our conference, and we need mo we, we know that we need momentum going into the tournament. So it was important for us to, you know, start this weekend. We had a, you know, a disappointing weekend last week, so we wanted to turn that around. We're a really good team, and we we know what we're capable of. So we came in and, and got it done today. Yeah, just uh, just piggybacking off of that, um, something we've talked about as a team through, you know, the the recent uh, three or four games that we've had. You know, they've been tough losses, but uh, the season has its ebb and flows. Um, you know, you can't get too high, you can't get too low, and that was the biggest thing for us is just trying to bounce back from that, not let ourselves get too low because we know what we're capable of. We know what we've done, you know, um, throughout the season, you know, like the results and like what we've done just like, you know, speaks to that. And that was something we really preached to each other as, you know, as teammates. Um, it's just not, not to fray, really. Uh, stay together, stay the course, um, stick to what we've done, stick to, what, stick to what's made us good. And um, yeah, that's it really. And then come out and, you know, just play with, the, play with the edge, play with some enthusiasm because at the end of the day, you know, this is an opportunity to play the game you love you know, with some of the people you love, some of your best friends. So you only get four years to do that. It's a rare opportunity, so just go out and enjoy it, you know, win or loss. Yep. Is it, uh, you guys led for the final 39 minutes and 41 seconds, but, but they kept coming back every time you get them up 10. They did some threes. And was it getting a little frustrating that they kept not be able to just put them away until a bit of the end there? Uh, um. I wouldn't say frustrating is the word. Um, I mean, it's college basketball. Uh, Drexel, you know, took it to us at their place. We know what they're capable of. Winner, Walton, even Coltrane, they have a tremendous shooters, tremendous, tremendous basketball players. That's what's made them good all season. Um, it's not aggravating. It's the biggest thing for us was just to stay the course, really. I mean, yeah, agitating for sure. Like, you got guys. You know, they make tough shots, uh, more credit to them, but you, you, as a defender, you, you wish those shots didn't go in. But again, that's just the way basketball goes. Uh, when you play against a, a, really good def a really good D1 basketball program, they're going to make shots when you don't want them to. So that was the biggest thing for us, just not letting those shots affect what we've been doing the whole game, which is, you know, play well, play together on both sides of the floor. Um, I I think we have <laughs> I think we have pretty good uh, chemistry. We've been playing playing together since the summertime. He's one of the best best players I've ever played with. So it's it's pretty easy on my end. If I, if I can just get it in there, I know he's gonna take care of the rest. So yeah, um, yeah. I met Bryce this summer. Uh, I mean, it was just it was just kind of immediate. You know, Bryce is just he's got a great feel for the game, great vision. You know, great decision making and. Yeah, that was, you know, just part of the game plan was, you know, uh, Drexel had a game plan for how they're going to play our ball screens, how they're going to play against our offense. And uh, the biggest thing for us was going out there, creating angles, screening opportunities for one another. And it paid off. Yeah, there's just, that's what happens with a season. There's, there seems to be, you know, an increased level of cohesion as the season goes on. And you can really, you can really see it day by day, game by game. Um, if it's not me and Bryce Wednesday, one day, it's, it's Andy, Luke, uh, Quinn. Um, you just got all the guys. That we're just really becoming more connected, and that's just a beautiful thing to see. Pete, um, Bryce came out really aggressive, especially in the first half. Um, you had some foul issues, and that's still. But how important was what he did in the first half, especially in the first half? No, it was huge. Um, like you said, I had to sit out a little bit, but um, yeah, uh, complete faith in my teammates. Um, not just Bryce. You know, we're all, they're all tremendous uh, basketball players, day in, day out. They're going to practice, going to you know film scout workouts, and you know do what they've done tonight. Go out there, and make shots, play great defense. Um, it was huge for us um, because you know just looking at the stat sheet, if I'm not on the court, you would think that you know the the game will go the other team's way. But I never had a doubt in my mind. Um, when you have guys, when you have the the supplementary guys like Bryce, Tyler, Andy, Luke. Uh, that's not something you really worry about. That's just, you know, it gives me, gives me an even better sense of freedom to just go out and play, uh, you know, worry-free about uh, fouls. I mean, obviously, I don't want to get any, but uh, that's, a, that's another story. But, yeah, no, it's, it was huge for Bryce. Uh, he's 
done it day in, day out. Tremendous basketball player, uh, even better teammate. So it was great to see see him have some success tonight, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised at all. Like you said, like I, well, I, I watch him do this stuff in practice every day. We 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 scrimmage. We our uh, scout team. A lot of people don't even get to see it, but they they give us a run for our money. Um, a lot of times, the end of the games are close, and I've seen him close those they'll close those games for us like literally every day. So I I knew it going into the final stretch. Like you said, I knew that they weren't just gonna lay down, um, and I, I was confident that that Nate was gonna pull it through at the end. He he's, he's done it. A Northeastern twice this season, so I was confident that that was going to happen, and, and, he, and he did it for us.